Hey guys, welcome to another Let's Play on the Nintendo 64, my actual N64 console for once. I've been using emulators, but this is one of the greatest Nintendo 64 games ever. Another one that came at the very tail end of it. The first Paper Mario. Today, I'm going to tell the story of Star Spirits and Good Wishes. Far, far away, beyond the sky, way above the clouds. It's been said that there's a haven where the stars live. In the sanctuary of Star Haven. There rests a fabled treasure called the Star Rod, which has the power to grant all wishes. Stealing it from Kirby, man. Using this wondrous Star Rod, the seven revered star spirits washed over our peaceful world. Carefully, very carefully. Then, oh dear, what the? Who stuck that weird thing into this story? Oh <laughs> yeah, I did. So I can at long last beat my arc enemy, Mario. I'll take this star rod. Do it, Cammy Koopa. <laughs> that chuckling jaw. No, you mustn't do that! Yeah, now let's try using it! Stop it! Cut it out, Bowser! You're changing the story! Bah! We did it! That was a piece of cake! Gwahaha! <laughs> I love that bottom jaw animation. It's a good one. Now, Star Kids may rise to the haven to deliver people's wishes, but those wishes will not come true! Whatever can they do? They can play one of the greatest games ever! I almost want to hear the story a little bit, but look at all those characters that we're going to be seeing. Press start. Let's do it! Do 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 ba 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 It seems like File 1 Cooper. That wasn't my first file ever. Because my first file was named after me, but you can tell who my favorite partner is. Mario looks like a speed run. 13 hours? And then... That must have been just some random time I decided to play it again. Well, I'm gonna need two files to do this Let's Play, because you never do a Let's Play with only one file. In case something goes horribly wrong, after every part, you must copy the file. <laughs> so, my name is Bill. I don't think Good Old Days Gaming would fit in this. And God G just sounds weird because it has God in it. First play. It's not the first time at all, but we shall say. It, let's pretend like it is the first time and enjoy every morsel. I like this game better than Thousand Year Door, and I know that's the unpopular opinion. But, uh, mail call! I don't know, this one just has more color, more charm. It's more, it fits more into the Mario character than Thousand Year Door, but... Thousand Year Door is meant to be kind of gross. Hey Mario, we got a letter from Princess Peach! I'll read it to you, okay? Alright, let's see. I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you both could attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you soon. Sincerely, Peach! That was a terrible Peach! Oh yeah, here they come, so excited. At the news of cake. The cake is a lie, don't you know? It's always a lie. I'm not even in control. Look at them, they're just going all oh, Toad Town. Toad Town is better than Rogueport. It's nice, it's posh, it has wonderful music. But both games are fantastic, and Thousand Year Door does do some things better than this game. Because it had more to learn from. Look at that castle, man! That would make a good ornament on top of the cake. What a magnificent castle! I never get used to this place. It looks like lots of guests are already here. Oh, and I'm in control just like that. Yes, the spin, hop, jump. That's how you move fast. I'm not going to talk to everybody, but I am going to take my time with this. 
It's been a long time since I've played Paper Mario, actually. We'll talk to this dude. Greetings, Mario. I am the Minister of Princess Peach's Castle. It's good to see you here. When you're around, I feel like our kingdom is secure. Yep, our future's looking bright. And then look at all these guys. Foreshadowing of what's to come. Although I feel like a lot of people have probably played this game. Although, probably not so much as Thousand Year Door. And I don't quite understand why, but yes, I do, because that game... There were more kids in the world by the time the GameCube was around than Nintendo 64. That might actually be a fact, just because overpopulation and stuff. But I don't know, we're antisocial, so let's run away from all the hubbub. And see what really matters. You came to the party to see me, you're so sweet, thank you, heart! I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. Tell me about it! Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat? Just the two of us? Yeah, baby. It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? Let's do it. What? Pom pom, what is Bowser up to now? He even knocked the flag out of the ground. That dope! <laughs> Look at Mario. <laughs> this always cracks me up. Just the way Mario's freaking out. <laughs> Still going. Oh, are you all right, Mario? What in the world was that? Oh my, look, Mario, it's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see the stars outside. Here he comes. Oh, long time no see, Princess Peach. Bowser, but this can't be. It was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? Whatever did you do? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, that was me! I've lifted your castle up into the sky! It's sitting on my castle now! We weren't expecting that, huh? Ha! <laughs> this castle's under my control now, my dear! Now you will obey me! Huh? What? It's Mario! What a shock! Ha! Huh, not really! I expected you to turn up right on cue! You're just as annoying as ever! Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you could do this time! Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? True, true, I've had my problems in the past, but this time is different. This time I'm gonna win. Okay, tough guy, let's go. All right, a scripted fight with old Bowsy. Mario, you can do it. Yeah. Just jump on his spiky head. That seems like it wouldn't work, but how's that one damage taste? Yep, yeah, so this is just jump and let him smack you. This is the thing, this game doesn't start you with the action command the way Thousand Year Door is. It's an item you have to get not too far into the game, but for these first couple of fights... Good old Mario, always fighting, you're a thorn in my side. But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. Take a look at this, look what I stole from Star Haven, it's the Star Rod. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. I'm pretty sure that's not what the Star Rod does in Kirby. How do you like that, Mario? Now he does three damage. Uh-oh. And we do nothing. Is that all you've got? How sad. You'd best take some vitamins, because that didn't hurt at all. <laughs> I love Bowser. He's the comic relief of both games. Yup, just as I suspected, Mario's no match for the new me. It's not even worth my time to toy with you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. A whopping 10 damage. Peach is all upset. Oh no, Mario, get up! Yes, oh yeah, I did it! I finally did it, I beat my old rival Mario, yes! 
Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness. That's why you're the king. As long as I have this star on, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. Well, well, well. I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. Ouch. Falling like a piece of paper. Oh no, Mario! <laughs> I'm not gonna do Peach voice this whole time. And this is probably the most papery this game gets. It doesn't really have the paper mechanics of Thousand Year Door. Because really, it's Mario RPG 2. But like every good Paper Mario, you gotta have the title screen just after the brief introduction. I like it. A plea from the stars, the prologue. I love that jingle. Poor Mario, man. How do you survive that? This is another reason. These guys have personality compared to the things you have to collect in Thousand Year Door. It's just, a, like I said, this game just has more charm to it somehow, even though they're both great. There's, I don't know. It's preference, I suppose. Oh, thank heavens, he's been gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. But Bowser has the Star Rod, now he's mightier than Mario. It's hopeless, all is lost. Everybody, just calm down. As long as we keep it together, there's always hope. Now, our fates are in Mario's hands. We must try to revive him. Gather round, everyone. Send Mario your power. Phew, that's it. That's all we can do right now. Mario, please get up. Please. Will do, General. Who's this? It's a Goomba! Look out! It really sounded like something fell somewhere around here. Oh, who could that be? That red shirt, this hat, and this mustache. You know, this really looks like the one and only Mario. It couldn't be, could it? The real Mario? Hey, hey, wake up! Come on, up and at him! Oh no, he won't wake up! Oh, what am I gonna do? Dad! Goompa! Goombario! Being saved by Goombas? I don't know. It's Gandalf again. Mario, can you hear me, Mario? I'm Eldstar, a star spirit. I have something very important to tell you. It concerns the princess and all of the Mushroom Kingdom. But sadly, I haven't the strength to talk to you here. Mario, I need to have you come to Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario, we Star Spirits will be waiting for you at the summit. Oh, the music, man! That's like one of the best parts of this game. Everybody sing a song. Oh, Mario! I'm so happy to see you awake! You haven't opened your eyes for days and days. Everyone's been worried sick. This place? This is Goomba Village. It's a tiny village that's just west of Toad Town. The only residents are me and a single family of Goombas. The Goombas in the family are just the nicest folks you'll ever meet. They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest and carried you here to get better. Huh? A star with a mustache? You're saying a star told you to go to Shooting Star Summit? Nah, I saw nothing like that, and I sure didn't see anyone come in or out of this house. I wonder, Mario, maybe you just had a dream. Mario's like, no, that was real. Although maybe not, it could have been some sort of message from a star spirit. They live in Star Haven. Shooting Star Summit is the nearest place to Star Haven, so that would make sense. Who knows? In any case, I'm glad to see you're recovered. I know the Goombas would be happy if you paid them a visit. All right, Mr. Toad of one of many. Goomba Village, look at these guys. Let's talk to them. Oh, land sakes, Mario, so nice to meet you. My, I'm so glad you woke up. I can't tell you how worried I was when you were just lying there asleep for so long. 
do, do, do. What's up, dude? Hey, Mario, I'm Goombario. I'm your biggest fan. You don't know what this means for me to meet you. Seriously. Yep. That's a save block, and... Oh, I don't have a hammer yet, so... Hey, dude. Howdy, Mario. Feeling better? Feel free to rest in our house. You what? You have to leave right now. Oh, shooting star summit. Something important, no doubt. Well, I believe that's the summit is near to town. You'll have to wait a bit. I have to fix this gate before you can head out to the east. That earthquake the other day really did a job on it. Did you feel that quake? Shoot! I thought the sky was falling. Just relax and don't worry. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. Thanks, Goompa. Or whatever your name is. Oh, well, my name is might as well save. Was that English that just came out of my mouth? Yeah, well, nobody knows. What's in here? A coin. Man, this feels like I'm going back to 2001, apparently. Mario, you look better. I'm so glad. I was really worried about you because you were laying there in the forest and you didn't open your eyes all the whole time. I don't even remember what I'm supposed to do first. Oh, Mario, hello, dearie. You may call me Goomba. I'm a Goomba grandmother, so that's where I got the name. Ho, ho, ho. Have you already met my lovely grandchildren? Aren't they sweet? Especially little Goombaria. Why, she looks just like I did when I was young. That's great. I know this veranda out here. What's up, dude? Oh, you startled me. Hmm, yes, Mario, is it? So you've awakened at last. Good. Knew you'd pull through. Call me Goompa. I'm the Goomba grandfather, so I'm Goompa. I'm sorry, but... Would you mind giving me the details later? I'm pretty busy fixing the veranda. Sure, dude. I'll go back and talk to the dad, I guess. Wait, if he's Goompa, what's the... What's the dad Goomba? Goompapa, I think. Oh, Mario! My dad was looking for you. He said to tell you he's finished fixing the gate. So I guess now you can travel east to Toe Town and Shooting Star Summit, huh? Sure, let's go. Do that, please. Oh, what a job! Sorry to have kept you waiting. The gate is finally fixed. If you take this road straight ahead, you'll eventually reach Toe Town, the home of Princess Peach's castle. I believe that Shooting Star Summit is just beyond there. It's too bad you can't stay. I feel like I just met you. But duty calls, I know. Come back and visit if you can. Best of luck, Mario. What? This clown! Get out of here, Kamek! Wait, this isn't Kamek. Is it Kamek? No, it's Kami Koopa. They're different. <laughs> ah, my instincts were right! Mario, I can't believe you're on your feet after taking such a beating from King Bowser. You're a hardy one, all right. I was smart to come here to check on you. What's that? Daddy, what's that weird flying thing? Weird? You rude little. I am a beautiful Koopa with a beautiful name, Kami Koopa. Oomph! <laughs> I wish I had the time to teach you a lesson, brat, but no. Mario, hear this. It is useless for you to try to save Princess Peach. Ridiculous. Laughable. As you have seen, King Bowser is more powerful than even you can deal with this time. Here's a gift from him. I don't know if I'm going to do that voice every time this woman speaks. <laughs> the dad Google. <laughs> Mario, you will kneel and weep when you see the wonderful changes King Bowser's made. Your world is ours now! Wicked witch laugh? Of course. Yuck, 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 yuck. Um, I just fixed that gate. Nobody say gate to me. <laughs> Cammy Cooper, that fiend! Did you hear what she said about the princess? It didn't sound good. I hope nothing has happened to her. What? Whoa, whoa, what? Bowser went and kidnapped Princess Peach? Again? Oh, unbelievable, and now you have to go to Shooting Star Summon and help save her, right? Um, this could be a problem. Dad, we've just got to do something, right? Mario's got to save the princess. Nobody else can do it. Um. Oh, here's an idea. Maybe we could break this block with Koompa's big hammer. I think he's using it now to fix the veranda. Go ask him for it, will ya? Sure thing. What's Mario without a hammer? Jump man. Although, really, he's had a hammer from the beginning. <laughs> Mario's like, hmm, there was a thing here. Oh, I lied. I think he falls like paper here, too. Oh, I love this music. Oh, my back! Hmm, who's that? Oh, that you, Mario? 
I remember a great crashing noise and then the veranda collapsed and I fell. Did you fall too? Just stepped out the door into thin air, did you? Well, we're both okay. Problem is we can't get home because that block is in the way. This block? This block shouldn't be here. Well, this is a problem for us. Huh? A hammer? Oh, of course. Um, uh, where did it go? I was using it to fix the veranda, so it's likely around here somewhere. Hmm, nowhere to be seen. Guess it must have fallen somewhere over there. Mario, we'd better go look for it. Let's go, Goompa. Can't hit that right now. Don't have a hammer. The hammer's gotta be somewhere close by. Looks like this. Look for bushes that might cover it up. If that appears, press A. Shake the bush and grab a coin. Don't forget to smack a tree, but oh wait, you can't. You don't have the hammer. It's somewhere in this block. It actually is in a bush. I can't remember. I know there's some hidden stuff in here. Not too much, but... Aha! There it is! You found the hammer. You can do the hammer time now. Smash a yellow block with this hammer. Oh, there we go. That's it. That's the hammer. I'll wager that if you use that hammer, you can break that block that's in our way. You can also use the hammer to hit trees and make them sway. Sometimes stuff will fall out and you can use it by pressing B. Ha ha he he he. It's too addicting, man. Such a peppy song for adventures, running round and smacking stuff. That's my favorite part. What is that, a cello? I don't know. But it is so fun. Anything in here? Yes! Infinite coins, son. That's not infinite. Hey, wait, ha ha! An adorable doll that looks exactly like Princess Peach. Oh, well now, I believe that's the dolly that Goombaria said she lost. She'll no doubt be overjoyed if you give it back to her. So many people lose things all over the place, you know? Almost makes sense to look everywhere for her, whatever you say. Don't really care that much. Well, we found the hammer, so I guess we should hit her home. Yowch! What the heck just happened, man? Who are you guys? This is my playground, idiots. Nobody sets foot in here without my permission. Nobody. Prepare to start crying at the feet of Master Junior Trooper. Junior Trooper, yes. Mario, this is Junior Trooper. He's the boss of the neighborhood gang. Bit of a bully, obviously. He's more bark than bite. You can beat him easily. Just boost yourself up and don't take any lip. I'll stay right here behind you and watch your progress. You got it, pal. Let's try the new hammer. No action commands yet, so it's just kind of stale combat. Yeah, but he's cheering for us, so we give him the old thumbs up. Well, pal, son, how's the taste? Boom! Can't block it yet. Ribbiting stuff. Grr, I'm just getting warmed up. You're still doing the same amount of damage, though. Hate to break it to you, son. You're doing it all wrong, boy. Mario, you almost got him. Keep it up. Go on. All right, you asked for it. Say hello to Junior Trooper's special attack. Full power. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But surely. There you go. Look at those star points. Mario, that was wonderful fighting. You got star points. You get star points every time you beat an enemy. Every time you get up to 100 points, you go up a level. Always try hard to get them points. You got it, Koompa. 20 points. Good stuff. Shoot, I was winning too. I'll be back, Mario. I mean it. I'll be back. All right, whatever he says. We got a hammer now. We can whack stuff like this. It's a coin. And what's in the tree? A mushy. Restores 5 HP. You got an item. Press, what is it? Left C to bring up the menu. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Look at that block. We can't smash that one yet. But there is something up here. I'm curious, what could it be? It's a fire flower. That does three damage to all enemies on screen. They're really good in this early game. And this restores all HP and FP. FP is needed to use badge moves, which we will get to shortly. Heads up, Mario! I see Goombas ahead. They're loyal to Bowser. If they see you, they'll attack you without hesitation. 
Yeah, you can jump or hammer on the map screen and get a first strike. Why is he saying there's Goombas ahead if he's a Goomba? Seems strange, doesn't it? Just a little bit. I don't know. Here we go. Boom. First strike. Do bump, 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 bump. Yeah, I think they only have two HP, so one more jump. Yep. And down he goes. Two star points. That wasn't worth it. But every little bit counts. So they say, and I also see something glittering up there. Look out! This guy's got a spike on his head. How much you want to bet he's probably going to say something about it, too? Yep. This is a spike Goomba. See that spike on his head? Be careful not to jump on him. You'll definitely get hurt. Alright, so use the hammer then. And just the same. Still only two HP. But we got three points that time. It gets way more riveting if you've never seen it. It's just, uh, it's a Mario game, first of all, so it's got to start off easy. And these ones are flying. Loosen up, they're flying. The hammer won't reach enemies in the air. Well, unless you find a specific badge where you could throw the hammer at whatever you please, but that's later. And it's not really a badge that's worth it, really. So, nothing we can do but take the hits for now. The action command, if you're unfamiliar with the Paper Mario games, is basically just before you land an attack or an enemy lands an attack on you, you press A, and if your timing is just right, you can either increase your attack power or decrease the enemy's attack. And it, you have it from the start in Thousand Year Door, but with this game, I'm gonna avoid this guy. Just a coin, and here is a star piece. It's a glowing star piece. Wait and see what this is for. I forget how many of those... There's a ton. Like, every screen of this game has a star piece on it, I think. But a lot of them we can't obtain right now. Never worry, kids. Here I am. Thanks to young Mario here. I made it back. All right. <laughs> I like Goomba. Oh, it's long. Let me open that up for you. Goomba, where have you been? I looked outside and wow, both of you and the Verona were just plain gone. Koopa, I was very, very worried about you. Really worried. Sorry, kids. I apologize. You didn't mean to make it fret. You'll just take it easy now. I'm back safe and sound. <laughs> it doesn't care. Now, before I forget, I've decided to give you something, Mario. Wait here a minute. Huh? Hey, that dolly you've got, that's the one Goombaria lost. She was looking all over for it. Would you give it back to her? Sure, I'm a nice dude. It's my dolly, dolly, dolly. You're back. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. Don't you get lost again, dolly. Here's a present from me. Look at the pretty glitter. And we got a second star piece already, just like that. And take this too. <laughs> a riveting smooch. You always seem to beat up your enemies. Do you work out? <laughs> I study self-defense by reading books by the masters and listening to Dad and Goompa. And I also exercise every day so I can be strong like you. It's starting to show, too. I'm getting big muscles. Yeah, Goompario's head is hard as a rock now. When he does his head bonk move, it really, really hurts. Oh, be quiet, Goombario. You're embarrassing me. Of course, it is true. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Mario. It's okay, Goompa. We're just rapping with Mario. Oh, rapping, huh? Sorry. Wanted to give you this, Mario. The power jump badge. Mario stomps on a single enemy using a lot of attack power. Sounds good. This is actually called a badge. If you wear this, you'll be able to do a power jump, which means you'll be able to do a lot more power. Or whatever. Nah, I don't need to be explained how to use the badges, sir. It's a vital skill, yes, but I already know how. So my answer is no. You better listen, Mario. It's real important. I know. But I'm still gonna say no. I trust you. Now remember, you need flower points to use this power jump technique. Yep. That's okay. By the by, Mario, I heard from Guma. You're taking it up on yourself to rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. Oh yeah, Mario could beat Bowser with one hand tied behind his back. Hush now, Goombario. Mario, please take this hammer. It should serve you well. If I were just a bit younger, I'd accompany you on your trip. I'd have done some damage. The years have started to weigh on me, though. I'll tell you this lower back pain. Adventure, you're so lucky. Princess rescuing is so cool. I really want to be an adventurer, too, someday. Me, too. Oh, here's an idea. Goombario. 
Perhaps the timing is perfect. You are no longer a child and evil times are upon us. I'm sure Mario will agree. You should accompany Mario. What? Really? May I go, Goomba? May I really go? Yes! Oh yeah! Mario, you won't regret this! Goombario joined our party just like that. Press down C to have him tell you about people, places, or things nearby. When you're interested, just ask him. Goombario is also helpful during battles. He can attack with head bonk, or he can tell you about an enemy's features and HP using his tattle ability. Way to go, Goombario! Mario, I know Goombario will prove to be a worthy companion. Well, I think it's about time for my nap. I'll be in the house. Goodbyes. Have a way of making this old Goomba get weepy. Straight from Mario Paint. It is the song in Mario Paint, which is from Mario World, though. How do you use this bed again? Gotta refresh. This is the Toad House. Refresh your body and mind. Anytime you feel tired, just come to a Toad House. It's free in this game. It doesn't cost coins because this isn't Rogue Port where they just rip you off any chance they get. This is colorful, happy Mario Land. Mario World. Mario Paper. Take care. Sing a bunch of songs and stuff. That's the button that does that. Okay. And also, this tree, if we whack it, you got a Goom Nut. It restores 3 FP. And now is probably as good a time as any to figure out, first of all, what pulls up the badge menu. Nope, that's, that's his thing. Yeah, pressing down C makes him talk if he's out. I guess in this game, there is no hotkey for the badge. You gotta pause it. But let's equip the power jump. So we're ready for the road to Princess Peach's castle. But that's gonna have to wait for next time. So let's save it. And I will see you guys then. Take care and thanks for watching.